Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTicker. In this video, I'm going to compare the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the iPhone 12 versus iQOO 7 device. And during this process of demonstration, I'll try to use the uh, 5 applications and 5 games. And I'll be using the 4G data SIM card, which is a Geo SIM card during this time of comparison. Not with the Wi-Fi connection, only with the Geo connection, which I'll try to do this kind of speed test and RAM management test comparison. Right now, as you can see, friends, both phones are having the same kind of Geo SIM card exactly in these devices and right now we're going to observe exact which phone will be having what kind of uh, uh, speed test and the ram management test comparing with the ios versus font touch ui and this after the recent android tool update from the iq sound device as you can see iq sound device with the android tool update as well we'll be able to find out exactly what's going on with overall speeds and ram management when comparing with the iphone and one more quick note yes i do know there's a price difference between these two phones this video is not about uh, judging the phones, but this video is about comparing the UI optimization for the RAM management. That's what this video is about. Please try to understand and everyone knows about the price range. No need to comment saying that the price is huge difference. Everyone knows. But iOS versus Fontage UI. How well this UI from the Android is kind of handling this kind of RAM management. So all the apps are completely clear from the background RAM management between these both phones. That's a good thing. And let's get started with the first application with the Chrome. And right now we'll be able to find out exactly what's happening with the speed test. And let's open it exactly at the same time. I'm trying to open the Apple website. You can see the loading speed slightly kind of fast in the iPhone 12 when compared with the iQ sound device. Next is the speed test. I'm going to open the speed test. And let's do the speed test at the same time between these two phones. So both phones are connected to same Geo server either path. And doing the 4G data test at the same time. And these are the results which we are getting. Slightly better results in the iQ7 device when compared with iPhone 12. You can definitely see here. Little bit better, right? And the upload speeds we are getting 2 Mbps of upload speeds. Not bad regarding the upload speeds at this moment in the iPhone 12. So 2.52 is the upload speed which we got in this iPhone 12 and iQOO sound device 0.25. So now let's move to the next application which is the Prime Videos. Not bad, both phones are pretty fast. And Flipkart also, both are kind of pretty close. Nothing much huge difference with the Flipkart at this moment. And let's go to the phones. And you can see the iPhone 12 was able to open slightly kind of fast regarding the opening speeds of the individual phones. And iQOO sound did take a little bit kind of time. So is Amazon application. Right now let me slightly decrease the brightness. Yes. Now let's open the mobiles. Let's open this uh, Xiaomi 11T Pro. So I thought of buying this device but due to lack of funds I did not buy the Xiaomi 11, 11T Pro device at this moment. Let's see the Asphalt 9 game. So Asphalt 9 game right now it's opening. And I did not use any kind of ultra game mode during this process of demonstration. No ultra game mode is used. Right now we'll try to observe friends using with the 4G data connection which phone can actually open this battery on mobile game faster. So usually this battery on, I mean this Asphalt 9 game, sorry not battery on mobile game, Asphalt 9 game. iQOO 7 did open faster. Then, so now let's take a look at the battery on mobile game. So till now not bad, iQOO 7 was able to open pretty fast Asphalt 9 game. Now we'll try to see the battery on mobile game, which phone can open this game faster. Right now as you can see friends, the iPhone 12 did open pretty fast, then the iQOO sound device, not bad. Next is the Candy Crush game, let's open this game. Even the iQOO 7 did open fast, the Candy Crush game. And it's a speed test of not bad. Stake balls, pretty good. And iPhone, I mean Temple Run play it. Uh, speed test. Temple Run first open in the iPhone 12 and then in the iQOO 7 device. So finally, friends, all the five applications and games are completely open between these both phones, which you can definitely see here exactly what's going on. Starting from first application, which is a Chrome to the last to the Temple Run. As you can see exactly how the, all the apps are there. And let us, let's start with the first uh, Chrome. Let's see which phone can actually store this Chrome in the background. Both phones did store, not a problem. And next is a speed test. Yes, both phones 
Prime Videos exactly and Flipkart, Amazon, Asphalt 9 game that's fantastic. So as you can clearly see friends both phones were able to keep exactly same level of uh, RAM management. Wow that's kind of strange. iPhone did close I think this Candy Crush. Candy Crush was open but Candy Crush was closed in the iPhone 12. Next is a Steak Ball. Steak Ball also got closed. So Candy Crush is closed and Steak Ball is closed. And finally is a Temple Run. Let's see about the Temple Run what's happening with the Temple Run. So Temple Run is open. So definitely friends, two games were closed in the iPhone 12, but two, all the games and applications were open in the iQOO 7 device. So that's it friends, thank you for watching this complete test is done, you're only using 4G data SIM card. Meanwhile, signing off, until then straight of more updates and bye.